Good day everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. This is going to be an iPad tutorial of the Dark Angel, the tutorial I did a couple of weeks ago on the desktop. We're going to do this one on the iPad. You can see that I'm on version two of the Affinity Photo iPad software. So as usual, let's get started. You can see that I have all of my pictures and assets down here. They're all turned off at the moment. So to get my pictures over from my files, I just come up here to these three dots here place place from files I use iCloud to store all my files and photos in so I can get them across all the different platforms let's get the wings and just touch on there we've got our wings come over to our move tool let's zoom out and make those a lot smaller so we've got our wings there we can hit this little hourglass or spyglass thing up here to get back to the normal size with that picture being a png i am just going to rasterize that so i get it back just to being a pixel layer the next picture i'm going to bring over is the picture of my model so back on my three dots place from files this one i'm getting from the neo stock that i've got here and the picture I'm going to use is this one here. Let's touch that. Back over to the Move tool. Let's zoom out again and resize our character. Back on the little magnifying glass here to get to the right size. Now I'm going to move the wings on top of my character by just dragging them up. And then I'm going to resize them. Just on the back there, that looks pretty good. About there, maybe a tiny little bit smaller. So I'm happy with that. What I'm going to do on my wings is add a mask. So I'm come up here to plus and add this mask. So I'm on that mask layer. I'm going to zoom all the way in now. I'm going to come over here to my brush, my paint brush. I've got my flow at 25%. I'm going to be painting in black. And let's just resize our brush maybe to about that size. And what I'm going to do is just paint the hair back in over the model here. There we go, we can switch to white, just to refine that a little bit, make my brush a little bit smaller. And then I'm just gonna paint these areas back in here that I sort of went over a little bit. And that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do next is back on the wings layer here. Let's hit our magnifying glass and get back to the normal size. I'm going to add an adjustment and I'm going to add a recolor all the way down here to recolor and I'll turn everything red. So back on our layers here, I'm just going to clip that recolor just to the wings. Then I'm gonna come down here to my channels and on the recolor adjustment, three dots and invert. So back to my channels again, make sure I'm clicked on the recolor. Back on my brush, still my flow of 25% and we're going to be painting in white. So let's just add some of that red. You can make our brush a little bit bigger to the sides of our wings here. Just up the sides there, just to make it a little bit different. I'm gonna bring my flow down to 10% and uh, make my brush a little bit bigger. And then I'm just gonna fade some of that red in a little bit more while we're here. And that looks pretty good. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to just collapse those layers now. Come on to my model layer. I'm going to do the same on adjustments, down to recolor, clip it to my model. Make sure I'm on that recolor adjustment. And we're going to come down here to the channels and again to invert. Back on my brush, got my flow nine or 10%. Make my brush a little bit smaller and I'm going to put some of that red on her hair as well, on the model's hair. Then I'm going to bring my flow all the way up to 100% and do the swords because I want them looking really red. And there we go, we've got our model back on our layers. Let's collapse that. We've got our model and our wings in place. So I'll click on my wings layer and then swipe left on my model and add to selection. Come up here to the three dots and I'm gonna just rasterize that. And then up here to the three dots again and merge selected. So I've just got one layer, just that model layer all done with those adjustments that I've made. I'm gonna bring that layer all the way down here just above my stone wall for now and I'm going to turn my model off. Let's zoom out a little bit 
And now we're going to activate all of our layers and start to put our composite together. So I'm going to turn on the grass layer here. The only thing I'm going to do with that, make sure it's highlighted. And I'm going to come down here to my filters. Make sure that my live filters are turned on and come all the way down to mesh warp. Just all the way down till we see mesh warp here. And all I'm going to do on this one, I just want to put a little bit of a bend in the middle there, just make it look a little bit better. So click on my move tool. So that's the grass in place, that's all good. And I'm just going to turn on the rest now, the tree on the left, the branches that I'm going to use, the tree on the right and the branches and we'll turn on the rocks and we'll come down here to our stone wall. We're starting to get our composite in place. We'll add our city as well in the background and our city sky. We've also got some stars here that I'm going to turn on and those stars I'm going to come up here to these three dots here and change the blend mode to screen. The other way we can do that, I'll show you another way you can get to the blend mode in a sec, but those stars are going to turn the opacity down to about 50%. We're going to put our moon on as well, turn on the moon. We've got this picture of the moon here. And as I said before, make sure we are clicked on the moon layer, swipe left and blend modes and we can click on screen. There we go, that's a little bit better. Back to our layers. We can now, on all of these, what I want to do on each of these layers, the grass, the tree branches, is add an exposure to all of these layers and darken everything down a bit. So we'll start on the grass with an adjustment and we'll come all the way up the top and we'll come down to exposure. And we'll drag that exposure onto the grass, open it up, and let's just darken that grass down quite a bit. Okay, so we've got that nice and dark. So I'm just gonna duplicate this exposure layer now and add it to all my other layers. So over here to my two dots, duplicate, and let's drag one down to the tree left. So you see the tree's gone darker. Back up again, duplicate, drag one down to my branches, Again, and we're just going to do that for every layer that I want to put that exposure on. So there we go, I've got an exposure on all of the layers that I wanted, the, the stone wall, the rocks, the grass, the trees and the branches. So let's come back up to the tree left, click on that exposure layer, come back to our brush now, make sure we've got a nice soft brush picked out. Flow about 25% is good. We want to be painting in black. We're on the tree left, we're on the exposure. Let's make our brush a little bit bigger and let's just add some of that brightness to that tree. And that looks pretty good. Let's go down to the tree branches, back on our brush and let's add that brightness to our branches here as well coming out towards that moon and we'll go down and now do that to our tree right so let's just move this over so you can see we have to click on our brush each time and we'll add some brightness to that tree as well and close that and come to the branches back on our brush let's add that into our branches there we go that looks pretty good Okay, with the rocks, I think I'm going to leave them as they are. Come down here to the stone wall on the exposure there, back on my brush again. And this time I'm going to come down here to this little circle here, turn it on, click on it and click on shift because I'm going to click on the wall here, hold one finger down and come all the way across to the other wall and click once and I see you can see I've got my um, brightness along the top of that wall as well so now we can just turn that off and we've got all our exposure layers in place let's bring in our model now so let's turn on our model come over here to our move tool make sure we're on our model let's make her a bit smaller and place her where we want the model on the stone wall I think about there looks pretty good I'm going to make a copy duplicate and that copy I'm going to bring all the way up the top and I'm going to put on a FX, a layer effects and come down here to 
color overlay so it goes black and then I'm going to drag this make sure I'm on my move tool drag this all the way down let's go a little bit smaller and drag that out a little bit and move it up a bit just under her feet there that's not too bad maybe we need to just go over a tiny bit about there okay that looks pretty good what we'll do now is on that shadow layer we'll come down here to our filters our live filters are still on and we'll come to gaussian blur make sure we clicked on that gaussian blur layer and let's just up the radius a little bit let's just blur that a little bit and then clicking on just the model layer let's collapse that and then on these three dots let's bring down that opacity to about 50% at this stage that's not looking too bad we've got our shadow in place what we'll do with our wall remember we did the the um, exposure on the wall what I'm going to do is just grab my brush and paint in white and I'm just going to darken that just under her feet there a little bit that looks pretty good okay happy with that okay starting to look pretty good with our model here as well we will add an exposure back up to where our exposure is and we'll add that to our model as well and we'll just darken our model down a little bit and we're going to do the same on our brush painting in black 25% is okay make our brush a little bit bigger and let's add some of that lightness to our model and while we've got our model here let's just click on our model come up here to our plus and add a new pixel layer right on top come over to our fill tool now our fill tool here make sure on black and let's just fill that with black now let's just offer that to our model just so our model is gone all black here on that pixel layer and let's change the blend mode on that pixel layer to add now on that layer that pixel layer come back to my brush back to my colors and I'm going to pick the color of the moon here sort of this mustardy browny color and then on that pixel layer brush is still okay at 25% brush a little bit bigger let's zoom in and I'm just going to add some of that color to my model if you think we've done too much we can come over to our erase brush tool make that smaller and we can just get rid of a little bit of it there so that's not too bad so I'm happy with that let's collapse that let's bring in our crow now so we've got our crow here on our move tool make sure we're on our crow let's bring our crow over sitting on the wall let's duplicate that same as what we did with the model all the way up to the top and let's flip that the other way so let's just pull that down again let's put a gaussian blur make sure we're on that gaussian blur and bring up the radius a little bit about there looks pretty good and then on that we'll bring that down to about 50 percent as well while we're on our crow let's go back down on this crow here let's add that recolor as well get some red on our crow recolor clip that to our crow make sure we're on that red color come over to our channels and invert it so we're going to be painting on that recolor let's grab our paintbrush let's zoom in let's make sure we're painting on white for this one so we still got 25% brush let's bring the brush up and let's just add some of that red color to our crow's feathers as well and his eye there that's not looking too bad zoom out or hit the magnifying glass there to zoom out let's add a few more things now from our layers that we've got here collapse that let's add our blood on the wall here this is just a picture of blood let's click on that and let's swipe left blend modes and this one let's go down to multiply put that blood on the on the stone wall there just under the sword the other one I'll turn on is this picture of the drip so I'll make it a bit bigger so you can see it because I'm going to add a recolor to that as well and clip it to those drips so they go red as well 
back on the drips I'm going to come up here to my move tool and turn that all the way around make it smaller let's zoom in this is a very small detail let's just add it to the end of the sword there there we go it's very as I said a very small detail and that is all of our assets in place now so I'm pretty happy with that let's just go a little bit further on this one right on top let's come up to adjustments and let's add a black and white filter and turn it down the opacity all the way down to about 20 percent there we go again this is just a little bit of artistic license here what I'm going to do now is right on top three dots merge visible and we'll come over here to our tone mapping so where you see the little affinity photo icon click on that tone mapping this icon here will pick the detailed back up to the top here we can drop all that down to about 30 percent and we can come down here let's add a little bit more blue into it the radius down to 50 percent as well and that detail amount can also come to 50 and on the little tick here once you're happy with it you can tick I'll come back to my layers right on top again I'll put another adjustment we'll come to curves we'll just bring that down a little bit at our S curve so there you go everybody that is my tutorial on the iPad for my composite the Dark Angel if you have enjoyed the tutorial please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing to my channel I will have some of the assets available for you on the buy me a coffee site you can also support my channel while you're there or hit that super thanks link below this will be my last tutorial for this year of 2022 but i will be back in january 2023 with a lot more tutorials and if you would like to see more ipad tutorials please comment below so i plan on doing more of those next year but until then i will say to you stay well Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video.